But first, there's nothing quite like the comfort of your own space, especially when the space is mobile. It isn't everyone's favorite, but for many of us, the lure of caravanning is that when you're bored of one location, all you have to do is pack up, hook your caravan up, and head off for new horizons. Caravan clubs have existed in the UK since as far back as 1907. Some may recall rain-drenched holidays with dread, but it's as popular in the UK today as ever before. We're second only to the States in our love of mobile holiday homes. But it's not just the Brits who love their on-road holidays. At this factory in Germany, they're still turning out a successful egg-shaped design that was first built in the 1950s. Construction starts with the chassis. If the caravan is going to be mobile and cause havoc on the roads around bank holidays, it needs wheels. The plywood base is screwed together and prepared for the wheel axle. The axle has been coated with zinc to make it resistant to rust and is an especially light design invented just for this caravan. With everything bolted firmly into place, the chassis base is flipped over ready for the next stage. A thick layer of glue is spread across the plywood and the metallic laminate floor is added in. The two men working together have just one and a half hours to prepare this section of the chassis to keep production running smoothly. With the flooring prepared, the wheels can be fitted, but first they need arches. These are glued into place on the chassis and the wheels bolted on underneath. On normal roads, it can safely manage 100 kilometers per hour. However, German racing driver Harry Muller was determined to set the world caravanning land speed record. In November 2004, he smashed the previous record by reaching 230 kilometers an hour with this little caravan in tow. But these caravans are built for compact comfort rather than speed. The trip to a practical caravan is making the most out of the available space. Beds have handy compartments beneath them for storage, and so do the seats, all of which are carefully put together. And what caravan would be complete without brightly coloured material to cover the cushions? The completed bed units can be fitted to the pre-built chassis and bolted into place. But caravans have other useful tricks hidden up their sleeves. Take this table for instance. One minute it's a bed base. The next it's a perfect platform, ideal for that traditional caravan meal in the middle of a field. Of course, the delights of caravanning aren't limited to summer. Modern heating systems are far better than they have ever been, and most of these egg-shaped holiday homes on wheels come with their own radiator. The heater can easily warm 15 cubic meters of space, more than enough for this little caravan. As all the parts come together, it begins to take on its traditional shape. For this particular model, its characteristic egg shape is a big part of its identity and appeal. Originally designed back in the 50s, it was very popular in East Germany particularly. However, caravanning's appeal declined somewhat in the late 80s, and in 1990, production was stopped entirely. But something about the shape stayed in the mind of the German caravanning community, and production was revived. Modern construction materials have helped to bring the design up to date, but the shape itself has remained the same. The polystyrene roof is screwed into place and firmly secured. This helps insulate the caravan, but it's not very durable. To keep the weather out, a thin layer of aluminium is the last piece to be put into place. Lightweight but strong, it's far better protection from the elements. Using a custom-made ironing device, the workers smooth the aluminium down. Plastic trim gives it a modern feel and comes in a variety of colours too. All that remains is for the fridge to be filled and the caravan to be driven to a field somewhere and parked up. There's nothing quite like camping in your own mobile hotel. 
the modern egg-shaped caravan. <laughs> 